Shortcuts is one of my favorite apps on my iPhone and Apple Watch. I'm using this app literally every day and it saved me a lot of time. In this video, I will show you my most used custom made shortcuts that will definitely make your life easier. As always, download links for all shortcuts you will see in this video will be in the description so you can download them completely for free and use them on your own device. Enjoy! But before starting the actual video, I just want to make sure you hit that subscribe button and activate notifications for all my future videos. I would really appreciate your support. Without further ado, let's get started. Sometimes you might have a situation when making decisions can be very hard, but don't worry, I developed a shortcut that will help you make right decisions. Once you launch the shortcut, you'll be guided by Samantha, your personal AI assistant. Simply write down your request as a closed question. The answer should be yes or no, and she will help you make the right decision. Just have a look. Hello, I'm Samantha, your personal virtual AI assistant. I'm here to help you make a right decision, yes or no. Please write down your request, and I will give you the answer, although still use your human brain before acting on that decision. Good luck! Should I upgrade my MacBook Pro? Okay, let's run some numbers about your request. Should I upgrade my MacBook Pro? I studied your request should I upgrade my MacBook Pro and the answer is no Thanks for using Decision Maker Tool AI. Until next time, bye bye and good luck. Next shortcut is called Siri GPT. This is a quicker way to access ChatGPT on your iPhone even if you don't have Apple intelligence. Simply launch the shortcut and write down your request. It will process your request using ChatGPT API and you will get your answer. How many calories in 700 Big Macs? What's cool about this shortcut is that you can use it with Siri. Siri GPT. What would you like to ask ChatGPT about? How tall is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is 6 feet 3 inches tall, 190.5 centimeters. And the coolest part about this shortcut is that it's also available on the Apple Watch. So you can simply raise your wrist, say to your Apple Watch, Siri GPT, then tell your request and you will get the answer right on your Apple Watch. How cool is that? Becoming the richest person on the planet is an ambitious goal that requires a combination of vision, risk taking, persistence, and a bit of luck. Here's a broad roadmap. 1. Develop a world-changing idea. Solve a massive problem. The richest people often provide products or services that revolutionize industries or change lives, e.g. Elon Musk with electric cars and space exploration. Next shortcut I found very useful is called Google Translate. Well, this is literally a small Google Translate pop-up window. You can simply enter your text, it will automatically identify the input language and you can translate to your favorite languages. For example, I said something in French and I can translate it to English. You can also copy your translation to the clipboard and paste it to the app of your choice. If you have the action button, you can also quickly open the shortcut using the action button from any app. It's very handy. 
But that's not all. You can also use Google Translate shortcut on your Apple Watch. Simply launch the shortcut on your wrist, say your request and choose your translation language. The text will be translated on your Apple Watch. You don't even have to take your iPhone. It's very handy, especially when you're reading books in foreign languages. You can just quickly translate text right on your Apple Watch. Next shortcut I would like to show you is called RSS Feed. This shortcut lets you read news using shortcuts. You can add your favorite news resources. For the purpose of this video, I added a bunch of tech resources. Just let's go to edit. As you can see, you can replace your favorite news sources like CNN, BBC, Fox News, or whatever you want. Let's launch the shortcut. I can select Mac rumors, for example. Let's select the article of our choice, iOS 18 something, and you can quickly read your article. It's very handy. I'm using the shortcut mostly on my Apple Watch when I want to read some news. I have just to select my news resource, I can browse through different articles and quickly read the article right on my wrist. It's very handy, I don't have to use my iPhone, I can do things like reading news on my Apple Watch. I don't know why there is no news app on the Apple Watch, but I kind of invented my own news app. Shortcut number five is called sleep tracking. Well, it does exactly what its name says. It helps me to track my sleep quality. Let's open this shortcut. It has a set of actions like, for example, turn off all my home kit accessories, turn on sleep mode until it's turned off and it automatically opens my sleep tracking app, sleep cycle. Let me show you how it works. So all I have to do is to say to Siri sleep tracking or manually tap on the shortcut. The shortcut will then turn off lights in my house. It will automatically turn on sleep mode on my iPhone and it will automatically launch sleep cycle app to automatically start tracking my sleep quality. So three actions are done automatically without me having to press any button. Well, I just have to say sleep tracking and it will start sleep tracking automatically. Very handy shortcut. Sleep tracking. Of course, this shortcut also works on my Apple Watch, so I don't have to use my iPhone to start sleep tracking. Actions can be performed right on my Apple Watch. Shortcut number six is very simple. It lets you set background sounds to help you concentrate on your task. Simply launch the shortcut and select your favorite background sound. Shortcut number seven is called Start Pomodoro. The Pomodoro technique lets you improve your productivity by working on short increments of time by 25 minutes. Simply launch the shortcut, select for how many minutes you would like to concentrate. It will automatically start the timer and do not disturb mode, which will help you to stay concentrated working on your task. If you have an Apple Watch, you can use the Pomodoro shortcut on your Apple Watch. Simply say to Siri, start Pomodoro. She will ask you for how many minutes, let's say 25, and she will do the job for you. The shortcut number nine is called Counter-Strike Bomb Diffuser Game. Well, this is a game. This is a game shortcut that uh, you can play with your friend or against AI. Okay, enough talking, let me show you how it works. Just select if you want to play against human or against AI. In my case, I'll play against human. Tap on that, enter your name. Next, enter the name of the second gamer. Now you must plan the bomb between A and B. Where will you plan the bomb? Let's say A. Then give your phone to the person you are playing with 
and he has to defuse the bomb. Basically, he has a choice between A and B. You know, it's kind of a little small game. I like it. The next shortcut is called Shopping Assistant. Well, as its name says, it helps you add shopping items into your shopping list. Let's study the structure of the shortcut. It has a bunch of different actions. Of course, to be able to use the shortcut, you first need to create your shopping list list into the Reminders app. Mine is called Shopping List with Shopping Bags Emoji. Probably the best way to use the shortcut is by using Siri. Shopping Assistant. Select your option. Orange juice. Done. And voila, your shopping item was successfully added to your shopping list. You can of course use Siri on your Apple Watch. Shopping Assistant. Question mark. New iPhone. Okay. The last shortcut in this video is called Shuffle Menu. Let's look at the structure of the shortcut. It lets you shuffle your favorite music uh, recently added, one year, two years, three years, or all music. For example, let's select recently added tracks. It will automatically analyze your music library and will start playing only recently added music. If I will select um, some other options like all my music, it will automatically start shuffling all my music tracks. Very handy little shortcut. I like it. Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.